dynamic signal processing. It takes a moment to understand, but takes a lifetime to learn. Um, dynamic, signal, dynamic signal processing has to do with, with the dynamic range of whatever audio signal you're putting through it. I remember the first time I heard a compressor. Um, I was sitting in front of one of my mentors, and he said, okay, I'm going to put it on. And then he hit a switch, and I'm going, I didn't hear it. I didn't understand what was going on. What a dynamic processor is effectively doing is it's compressing the dynamic range of whatever audio signal you're putting through it. Now, what's dynamic range? Dynamic range is the distance between the quietest and the loudest part. So the difference in decibels between those two. So what it's essentially doing is it's turning the quieter parts up a little bit louder, and it's turning the loud parts down a little bit. So this is really, really effective. I'll give you an example for something like vocals. Okay, you know, the human voice, it wavers in how loud things are. You know, as you're singing, you may be singing loud at certain points and quiet at certain points. Now, when we add other instruments to that, the, the quiet parts could actually disappear. So what we'll do is we'll use a compressor to even those things out so that there's kind of a uniform volume between those things. Our staple is one-on-one -on -one in an actual studio. So whereas you'd be theorizing in a classroom, what you're doing is you're working with an artist or producer who's worked with bands that you know, who's worked with hip hop artists that you absolutely love, who's worked with your favorite female vocalist, who's worked with tons of, of professionals in the industry. This is what makes this thing special. This is what makes this different from anything else.